I hate having to dress like a man. The cotton shirt is too loose, the breeches too big, the boots too uncomfortable. My hair is bound on the top of my head, secured in a bun underneath a sailor's hat. My sword is strapped tightly to the left side of my waist, a pistol undrawn on my right. Hello book nerds, how you doing? I'm sorry it's been a while. Welcome back to In Between The Lines. If you're new here, hello, my name is Noah. And we talk about anything written on the dead bodies of trees, so... Books. Talking about books, we're going to be talking about Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. So this book was uh, published September 2022. Um, it's 320 pages and it is a fantasy YA. Um, roughly, the story-wise, you are following around this 17-year-old woman uh, named Alosa, this fiery redhead daughter of the pirate king who decides to well doesn't decide she signs up to go on a mission for her father to play this damsel in distress uh to get captured by a different pirate ship that has a portion of a map that they want because there's four parts of the map uh they've got one and that ship has the other other part um and then nothing's really said about the other two maps um there is a love interest, so, so there is some characters on there. Um, I think the guy is called Raiden, who is the younger brother of the captain on this enemy pirate ship. And that's pretty much the, the main story of this book. Um, she's stuck on this ship, trying to find this piece of map, while also trying to be like, I don't like boys, boys are smelly. But then she's like, you cute though. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, we're just going to dive right into... <laughs> the rating system which is characters story slash plot world be building re-readability be re-readability i'm having a stroke and um fun factor i guess you could say so we're just gonna go dive into it so characters there's there's a few different characters in it but the main ones it focuses on is alosa who is this fiery redhead who is pretty strong for who she is especially for such a young age um, obviously, fire a redhead, so she's going to have that uh, temper that people tend to stereotype towards them. Um, who just has loads of little secrets about it. She seems very, like, two-dimensional when you first read, but as you get to the halfway point, you kind of realise that there is a little bit more to her. Um, and I was kind of glad that was kind of, like, put in there, because at first I hated reading this, especially with the characters. Raiden, he's kind of introduces this stereotypical um, pirate boy who's really cute, but he's really smart, which is like a little bit different because they're not all just smelly. <laughs> That's kind of it. His brother is a dick in it. Um, there's some other characters in there, but they really don't take much of, don't really come forward as much as you think. It's pretty much just a los loser on this ship in around story and plot we pretty much went through it. it there's not much to it apart from wanting to find these maps um because the maps would lead them to like this world grand sort of treasure um that her father wants and her father what he wants he gets and she is a little bit scared of him but she wants to do this so that she can become when her time comes she will be queen world building not much you're on this ship um the main thing is that it does kind of go into a little bit. It just kind of describes some little islands that are kind of dotted around and like what kind of represents them. But the main thing is, is that there are laws on land and there are laws on the ocean. And it actually goes into a little bit where her king has like, her king, her dad, king of the seas, has kind of like made this like sort of tax law on the water. And anyone who goes on the water, they have to pay him. He's a rich motherfucker he's very smart about it and he's a big burly man that people are terrified of because there's many reasons as to why um but that's really it you kind of stuck on this boat and sure they go to an area where pirates can go but it doesn't describe it, it doesn't really build onto that it basically just builds on these laws of the the land and sea and here's this ship that you're on the end rereadability i would have to say that there is rereadability um only from the halfway mark in the book, because the first half, I did not like, and I'll go into that a bit more later on, but um, after you go past the halfway mark, it does, you, it does get 
to a point where you're like, okay, I can, I'm enjoying this quite a lot now. Yeah, originally I, I didn't think I would like it. I hated it. I actually whinged about about reading it to uh, Ben's Corner, who is a lovely, lovely person, one of my best friends, who also does uh, game reviews and book reviews. I'll put links down in the description. I'm glad I listened to him about, about uh, reading the rest of the book because it does get enjoyable after that halfway mark. Silence, phone, we're having a conversation. The fun factor, I mean, pirates are fun. Can't go wrong with pirates. The fighting scenes in this, I actually did enjoy. There's not a lot. There's like maybe two or three little sections of, uh, I challenge you to a duel, I smack you, or I've got a gun, pew pew. But, um, because guns go pew pew when you're uh, a pirate, apparently. But um, it does have some fun facts. It has some bits where you're kind of like, ooh, ooh. But that's really it. With the romance in the book, with the fun facts of romance, ooh, um, it doesn't really uh, make that the main thing. It's pretty much the second thing. It's pretty much all about this map. And then there's the love interest sort of thing. If I was to rate this book, see, if I had like half stars, which I don't, I don't, I'm going to give this three stars. But I'm going to explain why. I do like the book. Just just bear with me, okay? So the first half of the book is basically how Alosa is this amazing woman. She's badass. She has this huge combat training. She's stronger than other women. And all men in the whole fucking universe are smelly, dirty bastards. They aren't important. Uh, I'm a feminist pirate. I only have female on my ship. I only have a female on my ship, um, which I guess can make sense because in them days, men are brutish. <laughs> but um, it's pretty much how she's the best person in this fucking world and all men are the scum. It, they smell like they've been rolling in excrement. Like, it's just pure fe feminism for the first half of the book and that's what made me hate the book. I struggled to read this for like weeks because I was stuck in this feminist part until halfway in the book where it changes um god damn it took me ages to get to that point and then i just breezed through it the last half of the book i really did enjoy so much i want to bought the second one <laughs> i've not read that one yet but i'm just reading another book first uh, and then i'm going to start reading it but yeah i give this three stars mainly just for that whole half of the book that was just pure feminism there's enough of that in the world i don't need to read it to but absolutely we want these sorts of things like being talked about we want to dive into a world books are escapism and all that jazz but i don't want it to be like the first thing the first page obviously you heard a little bit at the beginning but the first page after that is the smell you think men did nothing but roll around in dead fish guts while smearing their own excrement on their sleeves thanks i didn't transition just to get that thrown in my face <laughs> But, um, I did enjoy the book. Um, I'm also, I am sorry that it's taken me so long to upload things. I was actually ill for about three, four weeks. Um, and I've got a few videos I've made that I just haven't uploaded yet. Uh, so bear with me with that. Um, I also want to say thank you for watching videos. Thank you for the comments that I'm still getting. I really do appreciate them. Let me know what your, about your thoughts, your everything, your opinions. If there's any type of like pirate kind of book that you would recommend, let me know. Just slap them in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, listen, and comment if you can. I really appreciate it.